Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to a Saturday weather webinar walkthrough. Uh, today, we're going to concentrate on the enterprise plan for Mass Page Tools. Talk a little bit about it because uh, some people have questions from time to time, and uh, I want to kind of do a walkthrough of kind of what you get with uh, enterprise plan. So uh, we see Ted's in there. If you guys can hear the audio really well, uh, let me know because in past webinars, sometimes uh, this thing picks up the wrong microphone and it sounds like I'm like a million miles away. So if you can hear me loud and clear, uh, let me know. Okay, it sounds good. Ted says it sounds good. Uh, as more people are kind of floating in here, um, Terry says it sounds clear, which is great. And uh, so, uh, this is not going to be really a pitch fest. I'm not going to try to, you know, twist your arm to buy the enterprise plan. We just, it's, it's the top of the mountain for our uh, members. And uh, if you uh, know about it, at least you know what the value is um, there. And we're constantly trying to improve what we have as a product and these uh, other bonus products as well that you get, which we'll talk about today. So, um that's uh what we're gonna try to do so uh as more people are joining in i'm glad the audio's uh good uh, just if you want to do a little check-in in the questions box go ahead and throw in your name where you are today what you're doing uh what you're what you're planning to learn from today what would what would be a win for you today if if you put it in the box what would be a win for you to receive uh info wise Ted's asking, uh, can't wait to do see what we're going to do with MWB. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that during the Q&A. Um, more people putting in a few comments here. What would be a win for you today? What would you really like to get out of today's uh, session? And uh, that would also help for me to kind of guide the information uh, for you. This is live. It is a Saturday. It's about 5.02 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And uh, we are getting more and more people putting in what they're looking to learn. Uh, a lot of people looking to learn how the tools work. Okay, good. All right. Um, as long as the audio is good, we're pretty much uh, a little bit after the uh, hour or five. So I can go ahead and get started. So first off, uh, welcome to the webinar. My name is Daryl Ledyard. I'm the owner of MassPage Tools. I've been in the Magic Page uh, plugin community for several years, and um, we started Mass Page Tools as kind of an organic uh, solution uh, to what was possible to build like really complicated, optimized web pages. So um, the the goal was I I had some techniques that I was using to build my sites, and I wanted to kind of give the same kind of um, tools and access to build these sites faster for you and for me. So the whole goal is uh, is to make these sites fast and make them optimized and uh, to um, really give yourself the, the best chance of getting traffic that's relevant uh, to your search term. So what is Mass Page Tools? It's a tool set to help you to build evergreen style Mass Page sites in minutes instead of weeks. Uh, you can use these sites for link building, lead generation, AdSense, affiliate offers, more. Anything that you can pretty much use internet traffic for, uh, these tools can help you to build lots and lots of sites to try to get as much of that traffic and uh, convert it into something that, that is monetized for you. Okay, our tools was built for Magic Page plugin users, but uh, we are going to be having exports for other Mass Page software soon. And I just want to promise you, let you know that I am driven to build the best content hub so you can build and multiply your efforts to build dozens or hundreds of optimized sites fast. So that's the whole goal of uh, what we offer at Mass Page Tools and what I'm committed to. So in today's presentation, uh, we're going to talk about what's included in our top package enterprise. Uh, we're going to demo what's included in the enterprise plan. And we're going to answer your questions live at the end. So um, you can ask any questions at the end, and I'll I'll try to answer them for you directly. Okay. 
So first off, what's included in the enterprise plan? So I developed the enterprise plan to kind of be the king of the mountain of our members. Um, we continually are working to add more value to the enterprise plan, including some bonus uh, access to different softwares that we've been building uh, in the background. So we'll talk about those coming up in just a little bit. So first off is our main course, if you will, the magic form. And uh, the magic form is so loaded with different powerful features. Uh, we're going to go through it step by step of what's in the magic form. And uh, I don't think I'm going to have time to go through a full demo of the magic form, but I'm just going to kind of show you how Siphon is integrated into it. So um, I just name dropped Siphon. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Uh, it includes the database generator, which is uh, included with uh, regular membership. Um, that basically allows you to take any CSV data, and um, CSV is comma separated values, and turn it into data sets that can be brought in to Magic Page Plugin. Now, the nice thing about the new version of Magic Page Plugin is it creates standard pace, posts and pages and allows you to use the um, fields inside of the URL permalink structure. So what that means is the data set generator gets more and more important here because now you can substitute, let's say, the country field for um, some kind of uh, niche or something. Uh, you can you could go ahead and um, convert the co the county field if you're not using that field into something to throw into your permalink structure. And when you output uh, from the new version of Magic Page plugin, it's going to give you some really exciting silo opportunities because of this data set generator. So uh, I'm going to do like a, a full walkthrough of the data set generator. Um, after the new magic page plugin comes out because it is going to be a great tool for that okay so uh, a lot of people have t heard probably about siphon if you haven't heard about siphon i'm going to demo it and show you what it does um, the goal is uh with siphon is to help you to grab information from other websites um, either via scrape or via via cut and paste and it allows you to have it uh, summarized and rewritten all in one step. So you can select how many sentences you want to get, and you can select, uh, you can go ahead and have it go right into the form if you want. And uh, we'll show you how Siphon works. It's still in you know, development. Um, I, I think it's still beta at this point, but it, it does work and it's getting better and better all the time. We, we put a lot of time and effort into Siphon in the last week or so. So if you haven't tried it since probably Thursday or Friday, uh, you should give Siphon another try if you're an enterprise user. We've made some improvements for it. Now, Geoholics is a product that I built um, for Magic Page plugin, but I, I build it, built it for other uh, softwares as well. But right now, my main integration is for Magic Page Plugin. Um, what that allows you to do, uh, we'll get into that, what, this, what Geoholics does in a minute, but it's a data set generation tool. Uh, Leads Detective is another tool that I built. Um, and this is a tool that I built for um, finding domains that have specific criteria to them. Um, I own a, a web design agency, and I also am a domain investor. And so I was looking for a tool. So sometimes when you don't have a tool, you go ahead and you go in and make it when you're a guy like me. So that's what I did is I made this tool and then I uh, offered it to everybody when we launched uh, Mass Page Tools as an early access. So these tools are not broadly available to the public, Geoholics and Leads Detective. Um, so it's, it's sort of this access that you get as an enterprise plan user. Okay. We have something new called Mass Page Labs and Mastermind. Now, I've been working on projects in the background and um, you know different experiments and things like that and case studies, but I've been so busy with the software, I haven't really had as much time to do that experimentation as I used to like, love to do. And what I wanted to do is uh, get together a group of people that 
are very interested in the entire mass page landscape, like all of the different softwares, uh, what's working, what's not, all of that kind of stuff. And I want to make a group that allows you to um, be a part of something cutting edge. So as things are learned and as we discover things, you'll be you'll be you'll be cutting edge on this. And so we we started this new thing. Uh, it's going to start in mid February, and uh, uh, enterprise plan members will be able to sign up for um, free access. And uh, it's going to be very cool. So. Um, when you're an enterprise plan member, you're going to get more image storage, more Spintex credits. You get three sub-accounts. These are accounts that have separate logins and the other apps in development. So if you want to see kind of the uh, all of the plans that we have, which is uh, business, agency, and enterprise, just go to mass.page slash pricing, mass.page slash pricing. All right, so what's included in the magic form, the sort of the main course of mass, mass page tools? Well, magic form has a lot in it. Um, it's massive. What it is not just a form. It started off as just a form to put fields into X fields and spin text short codes. And now it's doing all kinds of stuff. And it's a continuous development project. So we're going to kind of, you know, non just nonstop keep building and improving it more and more and you make more and more compatibilities with it so it's a very exciting project um it's a very expensive project because we continue to uh improve it and uh, work out bugs and things like that so first off gmbs google my business and schema scraping when you put in your um website it'll go ahead or your uh, business name It'll find the GMB for it, and also when it when you select it, your GMB, it'll also scrape for schema to try to fill in some of the form details. Okay, we have other features we want to do with the schema scraping later down the road, but uh, we have the functionality already built in to grab the local business schema and uh, put it into the form for the um, the price ranges. The what else? The not years of experience, um, hours of operation. Those are those are coming from there right now. Um, if you don't have a bit GMB, you can just put in a location, there's a city and state or an address, and then you can just, uh, we'll show you, it's very easy to just put in your domain and just hit tab or skip, and you'll jump right down um, and you, you'll kind of create the perfect latitude, longitude for your uh, form, okay? Uh, image compression, we can make a five megabyte image down to 15, 40, 20 kilobytes. Very, very small. Uh, uh, a kilobyte, if you guys know, is basically there's a thousand kilobytes in one megabyte. And so when you're talking less than 50 kilobytes uh, on a full width image, that's amazing compression. So we've we've cracked the code on that. We resize the images too, no matter how big they are, all at once. Um, so it's it's really great for that. We also can crop the images. We have a, a wide image cropper that will uh, take a section of the image, and uh, whoops and um, make it so that you'll have some cropped images to go ahead and put into your web page. We uh, take the form data, including your keywords, locations, all these kinds of things. We got some crazy stuff going on with metadata. Um, things like the date of the image taken, we have that randomized. The location, we pull up nearby cities um, and put it into the location of images, all kinds of stuff that we've never heard anybody else doing, we, we're doing with our, our form. And uh, it's done very, very, very quickly. Uh, we host your images on a content delivery network. So uh, it's a worldwide CDN and uh, the images can load really super, super fast, regardless of what kind of hosting you have. We also developed a way to have Google image links. So those image links get cloned into a Google Drive file 
that we'll give you the link for. And that link can go into your website so you can send some link juice to your uh, images and uh, that can pull your pages up from what we've done through our, our laboratory tests. Uh, we have Spintex generation that's built in. Uh, when you're on the enterprise plan, you get 500,000 Word AI um, words that can get uh, converted each and every month. Um, so that there's a ton. So don't worry about using up your Spintex. You'll you'll have plenty to uh, work with. And um, there's some really cool things with that, um, the Spintex uh, generation because it can also change your description inside of your uh, images as well. So each one's different. Auto-generate testimonial placeholders. Um, so that's really cool. I'll kind of just show you that, but it, it'll create a bunch of testimonials that you can just go ahead and change the image out and change the text and uh, make it your own. Uh, if you just are building a quick site, you can use that. Um, the testimonial placeholders until you get your actual testimonials. Uh, I went too fast. Uh, Auto-generate adjectives. Um, adjectives are like words that modify your, say your niche. So it would be like professional, great, affordable, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we can auto-generate those for you and give you a few to pick from. We can auto-generate uh, titles. Uh, that will be used for uh, some other software that um, we're going to integrate with. And it also auto-generates uh, auto generates like your calls to actions, like get started, get a price quote, all of that kind of stuff. Okay. You can also clone the form. So when you do something with the form, you can go ahead and clone it, make some modifications and changes, just change the GMB, change you know a few keywords, things like that. And um, through tokenization, it'll be a, a totally new website uh, with Spintex and tokenization, okay? So uh, I think we repeated this, Google Drive images, we'll skip that. Token short codes, okay. So our form has fields that are tokens. Um, tokens are basically short codes that are just within the form, okay? And when you put them into your text, it will um, substitute that token with the word from your form, okay? So it's almost like saying you've got X fields um, within my form itself. So when you when you have like, let's say you change your GMB, right? It has a city in it. Well, there's a locality short code um, token that you can put inside of your um, summary features or description or things like that. And it'll interpret that as your locality. So now when you go ahead and you change that, it'll go ahead and update the output of the form to have that new token in it. So um, it's it's great. Um, we'll show you show you that inside the form. Um, you can send the form to a client to fill out the rest of the form. Still some work to be done with that because we want to be able to set it up so that you can select certain fields you want filled out by the client. But that information goes right directly into the form for you to go ahead and build a website off of. So you could start a form for somebody, send it to the client via email. They fill out the rest of the way and you can go ahead and get paid. Um, we have a way for you, to, well, very simply, it'll, it'll uh, export the processed images with all the metadata and everything. Uh, and that those images are just in a zip file and you can upload them um, to your website. Now we just recently created a um, plugin that will take these ex, uh, exported images with your metadata and you can import them directly into WordPress as external links and it will scrape the metadata to go ahead and put them into your alt text and your um, title tags. So um, we're the first to market to do that as well. So we got more coming up with a plugin. Like I said, this is constant development. So we're constantly trying to make this the best set of tools uh, for, for this industry. Oops, oops, going too fast. <laughs> we have an export for magic page plugin, of course. Uh, it's very easy to uh, import. Uh, there's SEO target links. So you can use SEO target links for authority links, but you can also use them for backlinking purposes. Um, so um, that's a really simple box that you just put in the uh, 
the uh, URLs, the uh, title tags, and the alt tags that you would like, and or anchor text in the alt tags, and it'll go ahead and make those all throughout your website. Um, our tool will generate video embed codes. So you all you got to do is put your watch codes uh, from uh, YouTube in there, and it'll generate the code around it. And we're working on some ways to do some uh, video schema as well. Um, so some some cool stuff coming for that. Auto spin text short codes. Uh, so when we have like a, a box of options, not only will it make all the X fields as separate X fields, it's automatically in the background generating spin text short codes for MPP Magic Page plugin. So you can just pop that spin text short code into place, and every single time that thing displays, it'll display a different version of that word. Um, so with the new MPP. I believe they've got the spin text short codes now working on the general pages. So um, that's gonna one um, make it really powerful and uh, a lot easier to get some randomness uh, to the sites. I'm really excited as you know about the, uh, the new version coming out. Um, you get the max spin text credits that we offer 500,000 and you get 20 gigabytes of image storage. Nobody's even come close to uh, that that amount of space. So um, I don't even think anybody's even close to one gigabyte. So um, that's a, that's a lot of storage. And you can also buy more storage if you need it. Okay. So what is in the enterprise bonus access? So the bonus access has the siphon tool inside the form and also um, inside of math page tools. Uh, as we talked about before, Siphon allows you to grab content from another place and rephrase it uh, and summarize it all in one step. And um, it, it can help you to get some information, you know, some uh, text that you can use before you put it into spin text. So you have the most variation that there is. Um, the, the grammar comes out really well. Um, sometimes the spin text, uh, I'm sorry, the Siphon tool rewrites it in a better way than it was previously written. So um, it's, a, it's a really exciting tool. We keep trying to uh, improve it. We've got natural language processing and auto, uh, artificial intelligence built into it. And we're tweaking that and trying to improve it, improve it, improve it. So it can be it's a stand, standalone site. Um, we registered a site called siphon.site as a URL. And that will be a standalone um, product that you'll also get, but it's the same thing as what you have in the form. Um, so we have geoholics.com, which is a data set generator um, for MPP and for maybe other projects that you're working on, say um, AdWords or wherever you need to get the best zip codes or um, data to uh, market to, um, Geoholics is perfect for that. In the U it's a US database right now. Uh, leadsdetective.com, like I said, that was built to uh, find similar domains uh, to sell your domains to or to go ahead and market your services to or to find people to buy your leads, uh, things like that. So it's, it's not uh, every lead in the world, <laughs> but it's getting better and better. Every single day it's crawling and getting more data um, into the system. So. Uh, future apps in development like ImageFly, which is a dynamic image uh, generation tool. Uh, we put development on the pause for a while because uh, we were having some difficulty getting the, the developer to understand what was going on, but uh, we're getting it back on track a little bit. And uh, we're, we're, uh, just, we're just trying to really make the main course, the form work really super, super well before we start over branching ourselves out into other things. Uh, Mass Page Labs and Mastermind Group, uh, which will be starting in mid-February. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, so here we go. It's uh, demo time. We're going to kind of demo the magic form just a little bit. Um, I've, I've got a lot of videos on what the magic form does, uh, but I, I, I just kind of want to walk you through what the siphon does inside of that. I want to show you basically how the data set generator works and uh, show you Leads Detective and Geoholics. Uh, it's not gonna be a real long uh, 
you know demo uh we're just going to kind of show you and walk you through uh what uh how things work okay so all right so now what you're looking at is the dashboard of uh an enterprise plan so this is enterprise here and uh as you see, you get 500,000 uh, spin text words that you can uh, use, which uh, if if you ever get over 500,000 and it locks up and you're an enterprise person, just let me know and I'll go ahead and get a reset for you. Um, some people have the lifetime plan and because it's lifetime, uh, it doesn't reset every month, but it's, but uh, we, we give you unlimited uh, access to that. So, so don't worry about it. Um, so, you have siphon over here you'll still have a link to this if you're um uh agency plan or business plan but you're going to have to uh pay to use it uh but uh let me see so now we have in here where you can do five urls at a time uh, that's with the scraping feature now the scraping feature isn't perfect the reason why we built the scraping feature is for another use case that's coming up um, that I'm not gonna get into right now, but um, we wanted to make sure that we had that as a feature and a possibility. The best way to use it um, is to get some action-oriented uh, content. So we'll get a uh, plumber in near me, let's just, do a quick search for a website. And we're, we're looking for uh, actual websites of plumbers, not Yelp pages, not Angie's List or Home Advisor. Uh, let's see. Not Manta. Mm -hmm. This looks like a lead generation site to me. Uh, all right, so we're just pulling up a few different ones and we're looking for enough text to siphon. This is a terrible site for, for that. And this has got a plumbing services page. Let's look into this a little bit, okay. Not too much text there. Here's one. This looks like a lead generation site. You got the video here, national emergency. So if you're looking for a lead generation site, this is uh, this is one of those. It might even be magic page locations, maybe. So uh, let's say you wanted to take this information here and repurpose it for yourself. So we're just gonna copy this I'm going to siphon into the text box and we're going to paste it in here. And I'm going to put in 25 sentences to siphon. And I'm going to go ahead and siphon it. And so the reason why we built siphon was is that a lot of these like article generators and things like that don't really have like action oriented, um, you know, a commercial website intent kind of copy. But if you take a look at what's up here, you can see every sentence is rewritten in some way. Okay. So there's a few things you're, you'll, you'll need to get rid of any, like anything that talks about their brand, you go ahead and you can put in the uh, X field for company and you can change that out. Um, you're just going to tidy it up a little bit, but what ends up happening is, is that if you take a look at the top and you look at this, it's just a little bit different enough on each cent on each one to be uh, usable. So this one says instantly, this is, says right away, and things like that. And my goal was is to get this rephrased so then you can do Word AI spin text on it. And that would give you really unique information because it's it's been one, summarized, which we use natural language processing for that. Then we uh, paraphrase it 
And then the next step, the final step, after you clean it up and uh, set it up is to do the word AI uh, spin text. And so that's a process so you can get evergreen content that you can use on many, many websites without you know, uh, breaking a sweat, uh, having to come up with all this text that's already been written somewhere online. Um, you just you're looking for good seed articles uh, to to try to pull that in from. Uh, you could do this for other things. Uh, working on a project right now, where we need to have like um, we're trying to boost up some GMBs and uh, using Magic Page for that um, by coming up with um, different things about the the location. So let's say uh, things to do in X City um history of x city things like that uh, to kind of give some relevancy to that location and uh, we're going to use this to kind of repurpose content that is already written uh, to speed up the process of getting the website up and running so does anybody is that all ted says <laughs> yeah it's, it just has so much to do in here for sure um but yeah siphon siphon is scraping you just got to find a site like we could we could try to uh let's see this one might work and i'll show you a, a cool way to to uh to find sites to grab content from okay we're going to clear this out and we're going to siphon this one so that site didn't scrape try this guy here it depends on how their site is coded. Um, sometimes the sites won't scrape. So we didn't think that it would, because the thing is, is we can get it to scrape all the sites, but we wanted to refine it and only have the uh, the main content. So um, that that's the challenge. Uh, there's a lot of junk on the page, like menus and addresses and like, you know, copyrights and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, we didn't want to pull all that junk in, but as you see, like we just scraped this and we got all this content to come right off of this. And so this, like I said, the scraping tool is you, it's going to be used for another part of the form. Um, and uh, so we just wanted to build it into Siphon so you could, you could see it. Now, if you're in the form and you hit new entry and you're in the form and um, we're just going to put in, uh, we'll do this one. Okay, so that's the GMB search. And when you do that, it pulls up all the hours of operations, my price ranges, the latitude, longitude. It even pulls up like keywords, like here's the keywords for my website. I haven't had to enter that in. Uh, we press the lazy button and just it all got scraped for you. Okay, so we would put in our logos and all of those would get the metadata from the, um, the uh, GMB and the logo and then we can change the radius so you can just say i want a small site with only like uh 10 cities and stuff it'll be able to pull up that um eventually you'll be able to output into other um softwares i think you're going to see where we're going with it because we're we're building the building blocks uh for for something pretty pretty amazing um so here is your placeholder adjectives you can just do this and it just every time you do it it'll change to a different set of adjectives. And if you like them, you can grab them. You can um, go ahead and modify them if you want for whatever your niche requires, okay? So this is where you put your niche. Your niches is the plural version of your niche. And then niching is your niche with ing at the end. Um, and it gets placed inside of the uh, text. This is where you do the placeholder titles, which is for future use. And uh, this also got scraped from the website itself. This grabbed uh, this information from my website when the uh, metadata was scraped, okay? Now, here's where Siphon comes in on the form. If you click on this, it's gonna open up this yellow box where you do have the uh, URL scraper. You could waste some time doing that. I think the best bet is to put in your text inside of this box. So you just go to a website where you you like the text, and uh, I don't think that's text. Let me see. Do do do. I'm just gonna grab this. Go back to the uh, form. 
you know, paste this in. And it's going to go in. And it's going to take that text and put it in the text box down below, which is your, your summary features. And now you can go ahead and change this up. Like where it says this, you're going to put in either the token uh, or you're going to put in your uh, location there. And uh, you'll be able to you know, clean it up. Um, we're changing around these uh, boxes here. Um, there's going to be a, a new, uh, what you see is what you get, uh, and it's going to work a little bit better. Um, this we're, we're learning as we go, so uh, we're going to make this work a little bit better, but it, it does work. It's just it, it'll be a lot better. Um, the benefits, here's where those tokens come in. If you see, it's going to grab, let's say for this, a keyword. Um, it'll grab a keyword from up above and, and place it in there. If you put company, it'll grab your company from up above and put it in there and so on and so forth. So adjectives, locality, and if you put preview, you'll see all of that stuff gets uh, changed in here because we didn't add niches. It just has the field in there. We didn't we didn't put it in into here. So it just still thinks it's niches. Okay. All right, so that's the benefits, uh, auto CTAs, you click on this, and it's like, you know, learn more about us, find out more, get in touch. It just saves you a lot of time to just grab this, and if these all work for you, uh, you could go ahead and put it in there, and um, you're good to go. If you, you've got different ones you wanna add, your call to actions, you just kind of put it in there. Uh, your video URLs, that's uh, really super easy. You're just gonna grab, um, these watch URLs here. And uh, you're just gonna put these in here. These are right from YouTube and you're good to go. It'll it'll create the embed code uh, inside a magic page plugin. So um, it'll be it'll be awesome. Uh, leads detect, oh, I'm sorry, lead simplify is where you put in your uh, form code here inside of leads generation, lead, uh, I'm sorry, lead generation form or it's gonna put a placeholder text. If you put nothing, it'll put a placeholder and uh, you can go ahead and replace that with the actual form from WordPress or where, whatever, okay? Uh, description body, we recommend 20 of these. They come with a headline. Um, so, so, this would be your headline for this one, and then this would be your body text. It has uh, siphon ability, and uh, you can also spin, and uh, so you can build up all of your your areas there. Um, these tokens, last time I tested it, it didn't work inside of this headline, so I got my developer working on that. It's on my list of bugs uh, we're working on, all right? uh placeholder testimonials okay so if you click on this little switch here it's going to go and create a bunch of random testimonials and put the company name inside it's going to put a various uh location so these are all areas around the area and it'll uh put in you know different things like adjectives and the, the company name and it just sort of is starter content these are uh ai generated images uh that we purchased and uh they're you know just to kind of get you use you, you some uh faces and quotes and stuff to get you started when that gets in a magic page you can go ahead and change that okay um seo target urls this is real simple you can just put a list of urls in here uh what we do sometimes is uh go out and get some uh these these are like authority links so what i look for is dot org and say like plumbing and uh we we just would put them in here and so it allows you to get authority links you don't have to worry about the title and alt tags because they're auto generated if you don't put them and if it's just for an authority link it just says click here for more learn more information all that kind of stuff um so that all gets tagged into there uh, here's your hosted images. Uh, we have three different styles of images. We have icons down at the bottom. We have wide insert images. I'm sorry, uh, wide images. Um, what that does is it crops the center 
cut of an image, a standard image, and uh, it will go ahead and um, crop it, reduce it, compress it, and host it. Uh, not only do we host it, we're experimenting with this Google Drive URL. So let me just show you an example here. And because we really haven't filled out this form, it's it's not going to be uh, super great as far as the uh, uh, where's some images? So let's grab some content here. Uh, so it's good to grab bigger images, like to to buy them um, from from somewhere, or if, if you're using Pixabay or whatever, you know, get a decent sized image because we're going to do all the work to to compress them and to uh, do everything, and it's garbage in, garbage out. So if you if you send you know lousy images you're not going to get a great result all right um but what these what these images do and i'm sorry if you guys have already seen this uh with the form we'll get to the other other features and we'll do the answering of the questions but i just want to make sure you guys see where we're at with the form if you haven't seen it in a while and uh and then you can ask me some questions and i'm here to go through and uh to take take a look at this with you so um what this is doing is it's doing a whole bunch of steps. Um, it's compressing the images, it's resizing them down to a specific size, which can be used in a layout. It is uh, adding the metadata from above in the field in the form. <clears throat> it is also cloning those files and sending them to Google Drive and getting the public URLs for them. Uh, it's hosting the images on our cloud CDN and uh, it's rewriting the title of each uh, file name. It's adding the uh, metadata, I think I said that, uh, and, and a whole bunch more. So all these images here, see it says images.link, that's our domain and on the CDN. And then you can see it has these things like web, PPC, animated, management, that's all words from my keywords up above, right? So if you go ahead and you take this image and you use uh, Jeffrey's image EXIF reader, you go ahead and you click on the, I'm not a robot. You can see the information is all in here. So you got the image, which is a nice, clear, crisp image after the compression. Uh, the, ooh, I just closed that. Let me do that again. It's probably gonna ask me for a, robot thing that let me say here uh so the size is 65 kilobytes which is even on the high side for our compression but for most websites that'll load really fast on a cloud uh, cdn okay and it grabbed the keywords and put them in here it, it put my company name as a copyright it put my name as the byline um the captions here uh it picked an area nearby and put it here so every one of those images will have a different nearby location. So um, it's it's pretty pretty slick. And um, so once that gets out there, we also have these Google Drive images. So if you click here, you will see if you click on any of these. I mean, this process just to do itself, if you were to put them on Google Drive, would take a while. Uh, so here it is hosted on Google Drive, Google user content. So now you have the domain authority of Google um, that you can boost with some backlinks. And uh, you can even, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, set up sort of a Google Sheet or a Google Document and kind of copy and paste these right in there and uh, boost them up that way. So you got a little Google stacking of Google <laughs> Google links. Um, so that's, that's that. And then down here, you have sort of where you can save it, clone it, um, and uh, send it to a client. Um, if you send it to a client, you just enter in their name and email, what your custom message is. If there's a form password, you put it in there. They'll get an email from um, your, uh, from you, uh, and your email address, and uh, I'll show you here in a second. You also can put your logo on that. Um, so we, we allow you to white label it. See right here, if you, um, that's okay, I'm sorry, that's the profile. 
uh, maybe it's account. Here it is. This is for a custom form logo. And so when you put this on, uh, it will go ahead and put um, your logo onto the uh, form that goes out on the uh, for the client side. It'll still say mass page tool, mass page for you, but when the client sees it, it'll they'll see that other logo uh, that you put in here. So, um, so yeah, it's it's very cool, and uh, you can kind of white label it and start a whole business just to, you know taking and building mini sites for people right off of their uh, right off of their own website. Okay, now data set generator. I'll just walk through this real quick. All you, it's really simple. All you do is you you go and you find a CSV file and you you put it in here and uh i don't think i have one in here but you you would just take a csv file put it in and upload it and you just pick three steps and those steps go in to change your magic data data set i'm sorry and you you'll be able to export that and put it right into magic page plugin again we'll, we'll do a whole webinar on this and explain it um, to you with the new version of Magic Page plugin, but it, I think this is gonna be a really, really cool um, feature because of uh, the um, permalinks with uh, the new Magic Page plugin. So I'm really excited about that. So that is the magic form basically. Um, let me just go back and see if there's anything I'm missing. There is a media manager here. So all of those images, that we just put in, if you click on details, you'll see there's two links. You also can go ahead and you can edit the tags uh, that we've created and put them and change them to whatever you want them to be. Um, you can copy the URL or you know paste them. We have a rotation where you can rotate the image. Let's say you, you had an image that uh, flipped or something. You can make it counterclockwise, and then when you're when you're happy, you just save locate save the uh, save it and uh, see. No, I didn't. I must not have done something right. But anyway, yeah. So you can you can flip things around and do all kinds of stuff on here. So uh, here's where you get your codes. So these are all the previous form fills that I've done. And uh, when you click on view you'll see the actual code that goes in a magic page plugin. This is all the details if you want to look at it. Otherwise, just export to MPP. If you want to export the images, you just click on the this thing here and you'll see here are the images that we just uh, did. Let's see if I got a viewer coming here. Oh, here it is. It's behind this other screen. So. Here's that image and it has the metadata already in it so you can put it on whatever site you want to have, okay? These two files here, the GSG and the zip file, these are for another program called Traffic Factory that we're gonna be integrating with uh, first. And uh, so we'll, we're gonna have a different layout for this page so that all of the integrations will come off of this page and you just export what you want uh, for where you want it to go, so. If you want your Facebook group, it's here. My YouTube page is there. If you want tutorial videos, click on this. And we're always adding to this uh, page here. And you just click on the, uh, if you want a video on the database generator, data set generator right here. It's it's uh, right here and easy for you to, uh, to, to take a look at. All right, so that is that. The next thing, we so we've gone over the magic form, the siphon the data set generator. Um, now it's time to look at leads detective. So leads detective is right here. Um, so basically what this is, uh, is, you're gonna get access to this. It's not a perfect tool yet because we haven't released it uh, to the public. Uh, I built it as an internal tool to uh, sell uh, my domains. So I, I basically will find domains and, uh, you know, just like everybody does in this business. And when I find one that uh, I, I don't plan to develop, I'll go ahead and uh, put it out there to other people if they want to buy it. And uh, so you can do a search. Let's say I bought a domain that says leads, right? Uh, if I click on this, 
it'll find lots and lots of sites that have leads in it. Okay, so you can see if you click on any of these, get leads for US, it'll go ahead and it'll tell us what the domain registrar is, their address, their email. Uh, this one's a support desk email. Um, and uh, any other details that we were able to crawl and get. So, um, so you have that. Then you have this dynamic search. So like you can either search or, which means it could be any of these criteria, uh, regardless of whether they both are true, they could be either or. And then you could do and, which will give you a more refined search. So let's say you're looking for uh, .org with uh, a niche industry of dentist. Um, so we're gonna look for, or .net, I'll do a, there's 7,476 dental dentist uh, niches. And let's say we want a dot biz. <laughs> let's see if there's a dot biz in here. And so there's nine that are dot biz uh, sites. And so um, you could put a um, smile is the domain. And see, these are all domains for dentists that have the word smile in it, and also in the criteria of dentists. And so when you've got this, you can download all of these uh, into a CSV file uh, and then open it and work with it however you choose to do so with uh, Excel or um, another application. Some people are looking to do directories um, now. so. Uh, we're, you know, we're trying to beef up our uh, crawling so you will have more images, or I'm sorry, more websites to, to choose from. Uh, but I'm not sure that we're going to be the best tool for uh, directories because there, there's a lot of tools out there that have millions and millions. Um, my goal was just to find the hard to find things um, that are just like who is information, but they're private. And so we have all these layers of crawler crawling to try to find the actual information for that domain instead of just it's hidden or private. Um, so that's that's kind of the goal there. Um, so, okay, so that's uh, that's basically how Leads Detective works. Again, it's uh, basically not promoted to the public at all. If, if you did wanna get just Leads Detective and uh, you, you didn't, uh, Let's see, if you just go to leadsdetective.com, I believe you can s sign up for access right here and you can just choose your package. Uh, you can do a one day plan if you wanna just try it out for $1 and uh, you just put in it what you, your user, your um, password and your credit card information and it'll sign you up. Okay, next off, we'll take questions, I promise at the end uh geoholics so let me just reset this uh so okay so geoholics i have to restart that because i uh popped out of it Let's just go to geoholics.com so if you're on geoholics or if you have an account for geoholics um now, like I said, all enterprise people, if you don't have access to Geoholics or uh, Leads Detective, the step that you need to do is just put in a support ticket at support at mass.page and uh, be prepared to prove that you paid for the um, enterprise plan. We're, we're gonna, of course, look it up. And uh, so, but we, we get you an access uh, for each, each of these tools. And then other ones, as they come out, we'll just put in a request and we'll give you access as long as you can prove that you paid for the uh, enterprise. So I'm just gonna go into Geoholics. This is a super, super simple tool. Uh, it's basically filter and download. So um, so the, the, the main thing is you've, you've got a population range, okay? That's on all of the searches. So right now it's, it's full from zero to 122,814. Now, that's because the biggest zip code is, these are the biggest zip codes in the country. If I hit submit, it'll be this Katy, 
uh, Texas has the highest population and in, in the country as one zip code. Um, so a lot of zip codes get split up. So now here's here's the top five zip codes uh, population wise in, in the country, right? So I think you can follow what I'm what I'm doing here. And then if you want to download this, you can just download to CSV, or here's your MPP location data set. Um, not that this is a really relevant search, but you can go ahead and download that and just directly import it into a Magic Page plugin, and you'll you'll have these uh, criteria. So uh, what what why I built this is because I love marketing to suburbs. Uh, so one of the things that you can choose is state and area type. Okay, and there's other features, but let's just take these two for example. If we select this, you can now search. I'm going to pick New York because I'm in New York and I'm going to go and pick urban areas in New York. Okay, and this is going to grab all the zip codes in urban areas in New York. There is 430 uh, zip codes that it's coming up with in urban areas in New York. Um, or, or cities that probably, uh, so, oh no, no, that's pages of 50. So it's it's that many times that. So if I hit a hundred, you'll see there's, uh, I don't know, 430, <laughs> there's a lot. Um, so what I would do is you can get really refined. So you can go to zip code, okay? And now if I hit select, I can say zip codes starting with one three, okay, and hit submit. And there's two of them, three of them: Liverpool, Syracuse, and Utica. Okay, those are the cities, urban areas uh, within that um, that zip code range. Okay, so if you just wanted to hit one and something you you could do something else but let's do one three and i'm going to change this to suburban i'm going to hit submit and now it's going to come up with all the suburban areas in this area and then i can say i want suburban areas with a population over 3000 okay so that i'm trying to really tweak for a certain certain sized area okay for my magic pages so now I, I've got suburban areas uh, for uh, these zip codes that start with this. Um, if I wanted to pick a household income, we could do that as well. So we could say, uh, reset that, we'll say select, and we'll say a household income. And this, you know, this is the average household income. So it's 53,000 is pretty high average household income actually, because it's it's the average. So these are some of the most uh, affluent areas that you could send to Magic Page to market to. Okay, and that's just suburban. So if you didn't want to do suburban, let's say you wanted to do rural areas. Let's say you're selling tractors or something. You can see these are the most affluent rural areas in 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 the country. So you can export this information. Um, it just allows you to laser target with your mass page who you're trying to reach. And uh, so it it just helps with that. There's uh, other little things and I'll, and I'll move on. Um, there's population trends. So if you want an area that's growing in population or um, if you're trying to find a depressed area, you could find a place with low income that's going backward. Let's say you're selling a certain kind of loan or something, you know, or you're trying to buy um, houses to, to resell or rent, you know, things like that. So you have all of this in here to try to find what areas have um, um, the criteria that you're looking for. So you just kind of take a look at the, the uh, the different things here. So this is a this is a really cool tool. I really love this this uh, tool because you you can really get get a lot of stuff. Now I've tried to do this for other countries, and the problem is is a lot of this data isn't 
um, consistently available, such as the rural, suburban, um, and uh, urban designations. Um, the average home value isn't available for everywhere. So uh, we're, we're looking into it, especially for the English speaking countries to see if that can be done. Uh, but right now it's it's working for the US and um, that, that's where we're at with that, all right? So we've gone over the mass page, we've gone over the siphon, the data set generator, leads detective, and geoholics. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to our third screen here. So what is this new thing that we've, we're offering in mid-February? It's called Mass Page Labs. This is uh, an essential thing for me to offer because, you know, if I want to be top of my game, I and to make the best things for this forum, I got to get back to making web pages uh, for um, myself, for lead gen and things like that. I, I've been not doing it as much uh, just because I've been so busy um, trying to refine these tools and things like that. So uh, I want to force myself to uh, have have a you know um, topicality, like getting getting on top of things, and also to work with some people that are also interested in um, optimizing uh, for all of these different tools. And I'm talking not just Magic Page Plugin. I'm talking about MWB. I'm talking about Traffic Factory, um, Enterprise, Page Generator Pro. I want to talk about all of these different tools, City City Page Pro. Uh, to go through and find out what's working on which tools. What you know? What are your experiences with uh, directories that are working? Um, you know, what backlinking strategies are working at this time? So it's going to be kind of a mastermind. We're going to build some case studies and some experiments. We're going to allow some people to contribute and show their what they're doing as well, um, and uh, and that kind of thing. So we're opening this up uh, for enterprise and. Uh, we're gonna to try to aim for weekly meetups. Not every week will we have a meetup, but we're gonna to try to aim for uh, weekly meetups um, to go over experiments, uh, case studies, some you know advanced concepts regarding mass page and SEO and uh, website building. And uh, so uh, it's it's sort of just really more more advanced concepts and uh, things that uh, I wouldn't use on a client site right away. Let's just say it that way. Um, we're going to have a private Skype group, so we'll allow some, you know, real-time interaction between the members, and that's where we'll give out the updates, the links to the video meetups and all that, and we're going to give you um, what's new before it launches. We're going to show you some things behind the scenes um, that uh, you'll, so you can kind of get access and see what's going on before it gets launched, okay? Um, and we're going to offer new features. Uh, we're, I'm sorry, we're going to ask for new features um, so you can kind of have a hand in what features get added next. And uh, uh, we can discuss what's, you know, what you would like modified and changed and things like that. So if, if everybody thinks that's a good idea, we can always use you, uh, your information to try to continue to build mass page tools and, and make the best tools that we can, we can have for you guys. All right. Now, uh, oh yeah, we're also going to try to get some guest speakers in um, to share on their maybe what they're talking about and what 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 their uh, their area of expertise is. Um, you can go to mass.page/labs. That's mass.page/labs, and you can sign up for that now if you if you want to get uh, involved. Uh, we're just we're going to put you in the group. We might start uh, slowly starting it. Um, but the official launch is going to be sometime in mid-February after I get some of the uh, the things that are currently uh, underway um, taken care of and I'm um, doing some ongoing research to uh, to uh, get ready for the um, the trainings and things that are going on. So uh, this is, you know, if you've signed up for my advanced training that's going to be coming up after Mass Page uh, Magic Page plugin comes out, this would be like having advanced training like every week. Uh, so, because we're always going to be talking about 
uh, high level um, things and experiments and case studies. So if you go to mass.page slash labs, you'll see that it's uh, $47 a month or it's free as an enterprise level member. So if you wanted to get uh, enterprise today, um, this is the small pitch right here, is it's mass.page slash pricing. And we're giving a coupon code for today for uh, you attending the webinar. It's Webby 50 for 50% off the monthly or uh, yearly price of enterprise. You can also use it for agency or uh, business as well, but today's focus is on the enterprise uh, offering. And I uh, just wanted to give you something for spending a little time on your Saturday with us. So uh, that's basically it. This is uh, Q and A time. So we are looking at the questions that are coming in and feel free to put in your questions. I can go over things that you have seen. Uh, one of, a lot of people want to talk about MWB and uh, I'm prepared to answer a few things um, on that as I can, and uh, we'll we'll kind of go from there. One of the things that uh, some people, there's some confusion because of uh, the way the enterprise plan is, we're adding like siphon.site, we're adding image fly as it's getting built, and you know potentially other softwares down the road. Some people thought is MWB um, was gifted to me from Mike, that that's going to be just offered for free. And that's, you know, I, I uh, can understand the confusion, but at the same time, I don't own that 100%. And it was never uh, something that I control the uh, price tag on. It, it, you know, it's it's not something that I can say, oh, every, everything that comes in from this goes in my pocket. It's nothing like that. Um, I have other people to answer to. And uh, so it's, it's a totally separate business, separate taxes, separate everything. Whereas uh, ImageFly is something I'm developing for uh, page generator, pro I'm sorry, for um, mass page tools uh, people. So um, the intention is uh, to continue to develop the form and to continue to uh, improve it. So, okay, so some of the questions. Steve says, uh, how could this work with Page Generator Pro? Um, we're working on it. Um, one of the things somebody asked me to do is just have an output as a text file that has everything decoded uh, to go into Page Generator Pro. Because Page Generator Pro handles uh, spin text, we could have sections and spin text that you can kind of paste in and things like that. Uh, but as of right now, there's uh, there's no export just for Page Generator Pro that's, that's coming uh eventually but we don't have it right quite yet um but that product keeps getting updated so we're, we're keeping an eye on it and um we, we hope to have something very soon um i think once we get into the phase of doing all of the um integrations with other and exports with other products uh it's going to be really quick because once we're doing it for one we can do it for others um because it's it's all basically the same kind of thing with the code is to just rewrite it. Um, so Harlan asked, uh, I can't get my head around the Google Drive cloned images. How exactly does this help? Are these two images URLs on the same website? So there are two copies of the URL. So you can explain the idea. We're okay. So Harlan, it's all on the CDN at first um, so it's a cloned copy of the image now one of the negatives of changing the image on i'm sorry of taking the image from google uh the google url is uh the metadata can't be edited because they don't have uh, the ability to change the metadata of the images once it's been sent to Google. They don't, just don't give you that access to uh, to do that. So um, we're, we, we, we might have a modification where when you fix it, it would send another image, but the problem is, is it would cause a broken link for you uh, or wouldn't update the image that you currently have um, because they, they have, um, you know, the images have their own ID and once they're on um, Google, you, you know, it's just gonna create a new ID when you send a new image up. So that's why that doesn't work. But the, the whole idea behind the Google Drive cloned images is that some people in the group 
thought that based on our experiment with the pizza shop experiment, um, because we were using AWS um, for the image hosting, because we wanted to experiment with that so we could have uh, some domain authority, uh, what would it do if we used uh, Google Photos um, image URL? And so we, we try to do Google Photos. Uh, we ended up having to do Google Drive and a public link on there. And the the whole idea is you take those image links and do some Google stacking with them and go ahead and uh, you know promote them in a few different areas uh, to to uh, kind of get a multiplication of um, uh, page authority for uh, not page authority but uh, you know what I mean the file the file will be promoted and uh, so because that image comes up very highly ranked. Uh, and Google Images. One, it can get you traffic that way, and two, um, you could boost up the uh, in in you know in concept, you could boost up the um, the web page that it's linked to. Uh, we've been you know studying this and seeing what Google has said in practicality regarding IPTC data and whether you could boost an image that would boost a page in turn, and they've been very quiet about it. But uh, from our testing. Initially, we have seen that it works, and we would like to, in the uh, the, the private group, uh, get into that experiment a little bit more and uh, get some real data behind it and uh, val validate it. Um, so it's it's in the form now, built in as a beta. But if we go in the form and we find out later that AWS links work better, or say other platforms, we we would go in and try to change that, or maybe give uh, alternatives. So you could use Google or other um, other in there. So I hope that uh, answers your question, Harlan. Um, so Ted was asking, where do you think we'll, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, MPB, Magic Page Builder. Are you talking about uh, MWB, Ted? Uh, where do you think we're going to take MWB? Okay, got it. Uh, so great question. Um, so there's three people involved uh, in MWB right now. Uh, it is myself, um, Anthony, uh, to uh, Tony, and uh, the developer. And the three of us uh, have to make decisions together. So I can't make decisions for the for the group. Um, but what we obviously want to do is uh, get it better uh, with regard to the uh, templates. Uh, so I've been, we're getting probably 50 more templates that we're going to be adding quite shortly here. Um, so if you are an MWB member, you'll see more templates coming in if you have the version two. And um, if uh, you, you know, uh, that's one of the things that needs to be worked on. Now, what I plan to do um, still is yet to get voted on by the other parties, but uh, I plan to have an output for my stuff to go into MWB and some templates. So uh, you'll be able to uh, instantly be able to export from my tool into MWB, pop it into a template, and uh, you're gonna be almost good to go. You'll just have some tweaks and things to do, but um, it, it'll it'll be, that's the, the goal that I have is to do that. So one, more templates, uh, you know, importing of data that's one of the goals and uh and, and you know total total immersion with mass page tools so that it's a, a another option for you uh, to build those html pages that can go anywhere so uh ted seems to be excited about that so that's that's good uh jonathan cameron asks uh, more details about mwb uh, what is MWB? Well, it is a mass page web or mass website builder, and um, basically, it's a cloud platform that creates um, mass page sites in the cloud, basically that export into HTML. So um, that's one of the things that is great about it is it'll create you know simple HTML pages. That can be placed on, let's say, Azure or uh, AWS or other places, and uh, it, it's going to be a um, 
a, a great resource uh, for you if uh, if 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 you if you want that kind of thing. Um, the the other thing that is very very possible um, that I would this is uh, in in the dream <laughs> would be to uh, have it as a hosted platform. So I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Brizzy Cloud, but um, or uh, Simvali, uh, which was available on AppSumo a while ago, where it actually creates it in the cloud and then you just point your domains directly to that cloud platform. So one of my goals is to try to uh, see if that's possible. Um, again, I'm very new, like this is just one week that I've been involved with it. So uh, I'm going through it and trying to find bugs and things like that. Uh, I, I really implore you and encourage you, if you do find bugs in it or problems, to put it in a support ticket um, with Tony. And um, we're, we're gonna be you know, reinvigorated to try to really work on any bugs that anybody sees and uh, get it so that it, it, it's it's something you can really uh, write home about because uh, if, we want you to be excited about it. And um, I think that once you see the new templates that are going in, I think you're gonna be very, very, very excited about um, its potential. And, um, you know, hey, you know, the bottom line is guys, no matter what tools, that are out there and there's a lot of tools that are out there but no matter what tools um that you come across it does nothing if it sits on the shelf um you have to use the tools you have to be active and say if there's something wrong and let the developer know that there's a problem and um, you know some developers will be more eager to get it fixed and some you know may have other things or distractions or money problems or whatever and they don't get us fixed as fast and then you're you're looking at other tools that, that work better in uh in a constant development cycle so um i'm not one of those jv zoo guys or you know somebody that just launch after launch is a launch that's not my mentality uh my mentality is to create a, a community and to create some long-term um solutions um i've been in the mass page business since the late 90s and I'm not getting out <laughs> and it's just something I enjoy doing. I love the strategies of SEO and um, I, I love to you know build sites that people like to be on and um, uh, the, that's the whole goal of my, my tool is to kind of build a framework and structure that you can easily um, put into all of these other tools and then you can add to them because it works with Elementor and you can just add sections and beautify it and make it all look sweet and everything. But um, the my the the game that I, I, I tell people is look, it's, it's a numbers game. Build as many sites as you can with the right framework and the right um, the right structure and uh, you know see which ones are your winners. Really you know keep a, a keen eye to the results that you start to see. Um, with your traffic and indexing and all of that. And then once you start to get some numbers and you can start to dial in uh, which ones are gonna be your performers, then you you, you double down and um, you make more of them, but you keep the quality up. You keep the quality uh, so that it, it's, it's, it's good quality. And um, and then it's, you know, it, it, at that point, it's, um, you know, a numbers game. It really truly is, okay. Any other questions, throw it inside the, the uh, questions and answers box. We've been going for about an hour and 15 minutes. So far, so good. Uh, if there's anybody that needs me to go over anything, if uh, now if it, I did uh, offer this to other people, if you are a lifetime, see, we had when we first launched uh, Mass Page Tools, uh, we had some people uh, able to get the lifetime. Uh, agency for cheap, cheap. <laughs> I didn't even want to tell you how cheap, but it was cheap, cheap to get people to uh, jump on board before the product was really refined at all. If you guys jumped on board at the very beginning, um, you are my founders. You guys are the people that really uh, helped to launch it. And uh, as you see, it has come a long way so far, but we're not done. And uh, so, but the thing is, is if you're on the agency plan and you paid lifetime or anybody that's a lifetime agency plan member uh, and want to get the um, enterprise lifetime plan, um, what I do for you, if you've been here since the beginning, is anything that you've paid in, whether it's you know monthly or uh, anything like that, 
uh, we'll take that off of the enterprise lifetime plan, which is currently 2497. And then what we also do is, uh, if you want to split it, you can split it into payments uh, between three and five payments if you need to, and uh, it, it will go ahead, you know, and um, be there for life for you. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, Ted, no problem. And um, so that's that's what I like to do. I, I I play fair, straight down the middle. I'm transparent, and uh, uh, I, I like to give everybody the same deal that I give everybody else. Um, I'm not going to go behind your back and you know go in and uh, do something for somebody else that I'm not willing to do for you. So um, that's just that's just how it works. So just reach out to me on Facebook um, if you need to to work on something for a lifetime uh, enterprise plan, and uh, we will will definitely help you out if you've been there from the beginning and the get go. So Ted says bedtime calls. I get it. <laughs> and uh, six. 6:20 on the Eastern Time Zone here. You guys are probably uh, all over the place checking us out tonight, so we appreciate it. So coupon code is Webby50 for 50% 50 off monthly and yearly for any of the plans today for spending some time with us uh, on this webinar. Uh, hopefully it was informative and helpful for you. Uh, one last chance: Does anybody have any questions about the uh, features for Enterprise? Um, and uh, are there any questions about um, any future tools or anything like that or suggestions, um, you know, of what we can do? Um, go ahead and message me for that kind of thing directly through the support desk, which is support at mass.page. Okay, support at mass.page. All right. So I hope this has been uh, helpful for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I don't see any more questions coming through the questions box at this time. Uh, some people wanted to watch this on the replay, so we're going to keep this promo code up for a little while uh, so you have access to it. And uh, and you can go ahead and you know spread the word if you want. While that promo code is available, uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, honor it, and uh, we'll go from there. So without uh, any other further questions, I think we'll shut down this webinar and stop the recording. And um, we will see you on the next webinar or uh, our Sunday live, which is tomorrow night. Uh, Steve and I are on at five o'clock and uh, it's uh, later for other people in the UK. I think it's at 10 o'clock and uh, we'll, we'll keep you informed of what's going on and uh, keep moving the ball down the court, <laughs> keep it going. So, all right, guys, thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.